go. Good uh, cutscene though, or cinematic. One of the most impressive ones for uh, some PlayStation 2 games. One of the most impressive I've seen, at least. Anyways, let me go ahead and save the state real quick. Should be good. What's the shortcut for saving a state? Is it... Nah, it doesn't say. Well, anyways. Alrighty, here we go. So we're here in Whipple. Um, pretty much just wandering around right now. Trying to figure out what's going on. I know the basis of what I need to do, but it hasn't come across yet. Oh, store. Okay, so that's what green means, stores. Forgot about that. Fun generator. Strange dolls. Power resurrects his owner at the time. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is like the sacrificial doll from Star Ocean 1 and 2. Sort of. Except a lot cheaper and more of a commodity, it seems like. That's kind of neat. Ring mail. That looks like I get the some armor early. Press sage. Pomelo juice. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, okay, so this is one of those things that always keeps on raising in price. Alright. Pretty much you, like, buy this and you sell it later for a shit ton of money. Anyways. Oh, there's also crafting in this game, I forgot. Just like the other Star Oceans. I forgot about the crafting system. Uh, I'll have to get around to that eventually. Give me one of these. Five of these. That should be good. There we go. I didn't really have any armor, so let's put on that ring mail. And for whatever reason, my sword is gone. All right. Let's go. We'll have. Let's go have that pipe. I think. Uh, what's his name? Took the sword from me. Uh, what happens if I try to leave town? Do I even have that option? says this isn't a game. Leaving without a weapon would be suicide. Who do I need to talk to? That's really the question here. Right. Okay, so the bandits that have taken hold of this area. And another guy, pretty much a foreigner uh, from outer space, pretty much became... Oh, here we go, the leader. So, yeah, he's causing issues for this nearby. Yes, and I 
think I know where to get them. It's a little ways away, but I'll go get them later. But we cannot ask you to do something like that for us. You saved my life. It's the least I can do to repay you. Still. And I'm sure that Mina wants it fixed, right? So Norton is a otherworldly person, um, who I guess also kind of got trapped on this world and is, yeah, he violated the, the whatever undeveloped, underdeveloped planet act or whatever the hell it's called. Game, you will be in even more danger outside the village. I know. I'll be fine. Alright, oh, looks like they automatically equipped it. Alright, cool. Let's uh let's get over to that that ship see if I can go ahead and grab those parts. At least I'm able to leave now. Probably spawn more more mobs for me to fight against. Let's see this way. I won't go to the bandits area yet. Quite quite yet. Let's see if that ship can go ahead and give me what I want though. Oh, that's weird. I don't remember that part of the forest. I don't remember that at all. Huh, okay, yeah, I guess I did come through here. Alright, moving on. Thought it was one whole thing, but I guess not. Alright, so we're going here. Towards the south, I believe. So yeah, there's a little percentage at the bottom there. I'm not sure if you can see it. No, you can't. The map tells you how how much of the how much of the the, uh, the map you build, the percentage of it, which is kind of neat. and equipment have been stripped. There's no way the inhabitants of this planet know what this stuff is. Yeah. So it makes sense if they just smashed it up. Ah, uh, so yeah. This uh this is the uh the bandits or Norton's people, Norton's group stealing the uh the ship's parts.
I'm not sure what that mob's supposed to be. I'm guessing some sort of like uh what's, what's the term that they use? To be honest, it's just a bullshit mob. It's like these slimes. Maybe there's mobs in the game probably. That second attack never really hits. So I hit it right, just right, but no. This refuses to actually hit the mob that for whatever fucking reason. Okay, so he said go back to the village. Again, just to get hit. There we go. There we go. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Alright, see what they have to say at the village. Hello there. What a relief! You are well! Norton's gang was lurking around the forest in the direction you left in. We were worried. Nicholas, could you please tell me more about Norton and his gang? Who are they? I do not know everything myself. He... Norton appeared suddenly in our village about half a year past. He ordered the village to supply him with food. Of course, we refused at first. The village needs its supplies to survive the harsh winter. Norton was in fact ordering the village to die. But when people refused him, he called upon this mysterious light, and those it touched disappeared, one after the other. Carl, Siren, Kurt, all gone. And our father resisted until the very end. Of course we told our Lord, but he said the idea of people disappearing into thin air was nonsense and didn't want to hear about it. Now some of the villagers have even joined Norton's gang. A mysterious light that makes people disappear? Nicholas, when you first met me you asked me about my clothes and ears, right? Ah, Norton clothes made out of a strange material that was neither linen nor cotton, just like the clothes you wear. And his ears were shaped like yours. That is why I did not trust you at first. I apologize. Don't worry about it. Fix your music box. Nicholas, I'm hungry. Let's eat. Ah, yes. 
Very well. Let us eat. Oh, I can't wait till I get the uh, second character in this game. Technically the third character. I think his name is Klein or Clyde or I can't remember. Side to side, I guess, as far as um, the whole dungeon, or the whole region, instead of going randomly around or whatever. So we'll strategically do this, I guess. Try to get, try to get everything.
Nice, it's both. Yeah. I like I'm getting the timing down, at least to be able to tell whenever they're gonna hit. Not too bad. Alrighty. So back down to where I was. Yeah, no reason to go that way. This way though. Save states, save right there. I will take advantage of uh, using save states wherever the heck I please. So. I don't like having a safe spot in one uh, certain location. So. Just 
how I am with these loot games. I like being able to save constantly. Especially when things like the emulator can crash and this other sort of shit. Bullshit. Probably be looking for the clues for the, the numbers or whatever. There should be numbers on the on the sides of the walls, like a code to get into it. To the somewhere. Just gonna work. One is supposed to be at the beginning of a dungeon, if I remember correctly. The very beginning. And then one's towards the middle, and then another is the last one's actually right, almost close to the to the end of the dungeon. I don't remember where the hell they were. I don't know why I wasn't looking for clues earlier. Oh, there is two. Yep, two is right there. So it's in a big red fucking marker. Awesome. And that thing's easy. So two. I think it's three numbers. So two is the first. Start looking around for any random numbers laying around. Should be on just any wall. So I don't know that has a big enough wall to, to have that number on there. Five, there you go. Two, five. Back 
prime place to have it. No, I guess not. Okay, so I'm gonna go with there's just three numbers, but I'm not exactly sure if you're wrong about that. I think it's three. The last one is towards the end of the dungeon. Please. Totally could be wrong about this. Totally expect that I might be wrong. Alright. Two and five. That's what I got so far. I see no numbers laying around. Alright. Oh, there we go, there's an entrance somewhere. Right, I have to go around. Um, before I do that, go left. I'm gonna go all the way around this shit too. Slowly going up. I'm doing 40 damage now. Was doing lower, in the lower 30s earlier. Lower 30s, upper 20s. That's like progress, I guess. Some of these plant mobs. What? An attack from behind? So watch out for these fuckers. attacks you. I forgot about that. If the enemy attacks you, then it becomes a surrounded battle. So I have to make sure to be on the offensive or else that happens. Unless I get caught off guard. What's up, Desert? Kid, what do you want? This is Lord Norton's turf, so beat it up. I don't want to fight you guys. I just want to know if you've seen a little boy around here. A little boy? Oh, you mean Nicholas. Yeah, he came around here blabbering about getting something back and wanting to see Lord Norton. Then what did he do? Being the kind-hearted fellas we are, we gave the stupid kid what he wanted. I bet Lord Norton's re-educating the undisciplined little brat right now. What? It's the kid's own fault. Nothing good can come from messing with Lord Norton. Don't worry, he'll learn it's better to join us than fight us. 
It's a shame. The apple don't fall far from the tree. Idiocy must run in the family. Rotten little... Whoa there. Didn't I just say you can't pass through here? Wanna see that brat? You gotta beat us first. Lovely. Talks. What gives you All the right. right? Here we go. Looks like we got another village idiot in need of some education. Oh, a real fight! Yeah. Yeah. Out of my way! Two skills. So Nicholas is locked up somewhere in here. I better hurry up and find him. Definitely an off world. What is doing
just three numbers, like I thought it was. Awesome. Now we're good to go kick Norton's ass. Hopefully. That's what I want to ask you. You should never have run off like that. The music box parts. I wanted to get them back. I... I could not ask you to do this for us. But that's crazy. It is dangerous here. You... must leave. Quickly. He'll... get you. Nicholas? Hang in there, Nicholas. Leave. This is bad. I better hurry. Think. Think. Oh, yeah. I could short the battery in my communicator. Or... Wait. I might be stuck here if I lose yeah. my communicator. What am I thinking? There's no time. Hold on, Nicholas. I'll get you out! Hang in there, Nicholas. It's funny, because he just wasted his communicator whenever the boss was about to show up. So, uh, mistake. He doesn't seem too badly hurt. That's a relief. Huh? Oh, right. My translator was built into that communicator. Dumbass. <laughs> hmm. No time for regrets now. We better get out of here. Let's go. Freeze! No funny moves if you want to stay alive. Play nice and I'll let you live a little longer. That was a phase gun. So you must be Norton. Yeah, that's me! I am Norton the Great. <laughs> it's so nice to hear genuine turn being spoken, huh? Seems like ages. Why are you here? You're not from this planet, are you? I'm from Razor, boy. We're not part of the Federation. Razor? I've heard of that word. That planet filled with joy seekers that keeps rejecting Federation membership. So what are you doing here? This is an underdeveloped planet, you know. Not much to tell. I uh, was involved in this uh, unfortunate accident. Guess it was a bit much even for Razor. So I was sentenced to spend the rest of my days in exile on a deserted planet. Escort ship they were transporting me on had engine trouble and ended up crash landing here. Can you believe it? All I had to do was mess with their engine codes. Those stupid pilots ended up frying their engines. Oh man! All I was trying to do was create a distraction so I could make my escape. But we ended up crashing, and this planet's become my prison. And the others, Norton? Huh? 
That's Lord Norton to you. There must have been others. What happened to the other people on the escort ship? Oh, those guys, they're dead, the poor fools. They were trying to send out a distress signal and a bolt of lightning smote them where they stood. Bam! <laughs> that crash part was unfortunate. But no use crying over spilled milk. I've been devoting myself to making this planet my kingdom. You get my drift? So that's why you've been raiding Whipple? Yeah, something like that. You're a smart kid. That's why I was raiding the village, and that's why you gotta die. Sorry. You'll be happy to know I'm gonna make the most of those parts I stripped from your escape pod. Guys like you. Huh? What the so, the game doesn't really describe to you yet, but fate has a supernatural power, so to speak. Well, more or less, sign. Uh, yeah. Anyways, the game will explain later. Ah, uh, there you are. I thought I lost you when your distress signal went out. I'd never have found you if it weren't for those explosions. What do you want? You're not one of them Federation guys, are you? Who, me? A Federation soldier? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Cliff. His name was Cliff, I think. Well then, who are you? Cliff Fitter. A Clausian and member of Quark. A Clausian? Sorry, no time to explain. I'm kind of in a hurry. Just let me have fate, that earthling boy over there, and I'll be on my way. I don't plan on butting into whatever you got going on over here. How do you know my name? Let's not sweat the details. Suffice it to say, you're my man. Hold it right there, or I'll blast you! Huh? <laughs> you talking to me? You think you could fool me? There's no way a Clausian would come here. You're probably some sort of spy. It's so obvious. <laughs> Look, since I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna fill you in on a little secret. That gun you have there has no effect on us Clausians. You didn't know that? Shut your pie hole! Done lecturing. Time to teach you a lesson. Here I go. Bring it on. so much for that guy, but I did try to warn him. I've heard the physical abilities of Clausians far outstrip those of Earthlings, but man. And he said Quark. Wasn't that an anti-Federation group? Looks like I overdid it. Should have held back a little bit. Well, this is about the only thing that still works. The rest is ruined. Here. Hey, another communicator. Is this a communicator? Can't live without one. I can't figure out why you wouldn't have one with you. 
Uh, um, thanks for getting me out of that mess. You saved my life. Whoa there. Don't go thanking me yet. You see, I've come to abduct you. What? Now, don't get all worked up. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. It's just... My boss wants to meet you. That's why I came all the way out here to find you. Boss? You mean Quark's boss? That's right. Our leader wants to see you. But you've sure made it a tough job. First, I went to Haida and ran into that mess thanks to you. Then, I get here and find you poking your nose into matters better left alone. You make it sound like it was my fault Haida got attacked. Jeez! <laughs> no comment. Just kidding, don't sweat it. At any rate, I got you now, and I did rescue you, so no complaining. And besides, you want to see your old man, don't you? He's been captured by the Vendini. Dad? But why? Hey, don't ask me. All I know is your old man was abducted from the evacuation facility on Haida. What about my mother? And Sophia? Well, we know your mom's safe. She should have already arrived at remote station number six. I don't know about the girl. I've had my hands full just trying to track down your escape pod. How do you know all this? What else do you know? Not much else. Sorry. Oh yeah, I do know what your old man Dr. Leingod was researching. You mean symbological genetics? My dad's an authority in that field, so it's no surprise you've heard of him. Right, symbological genetics. And 19 years ago... Ah, uh, never mind, that doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Come on, you don't have any other way off this planet, do you? Look, I'm sure things will clear up if you just come with me. Besides, you'll be able to see your old man again. But according to you, my father's been captured by Vendine. So how could I possibly see him? Simple. Quark will go rescue your old man, too. Why would an anti-Federation group want to help my father? Well, tell you what, it's kind of complicated. Let's not get into that right now. So, are you coming or not? Okay, I'll go with you. But could we stop by Whipple first? I want to make sure the boy gets back there safely. Sure. Whatever. But I still think you shouldn't have gotten involved. So of course, being as um, the underdeveloped planet, the whole treaty cool stuff, um, they have to blow up that uh, that room and destroy any evidence of uh, of otherworldly uh, presence for the sake of uh, preserving a, a certain world's uh, 
progress, I guess. To a certain point. Pretty much any planet that's, uh... I, I guess, um... Maybe like pre-20th century or pre-21st century is considered, uh, an underdeveloped planet. There. Everything's back to normal, huh? You're wrong. Things aren't back to normal. Nicholas and Mina's parents are gone forever. I'll be right back. I'm gonna refresh the stream.